In commemoration of the 2022 International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Girls and Women, the Office of the United Nations Resident Coordinator and the United Nations Women Nigeria Office have called for policy action and escalated interventions to protect women and the girl child. The United Nations Women Representative to Nigeria and ECOWAS, Beatrice Ayung, made a call at the orange ceremony and official lighting of United Nations building 16 days of activism against gender-based violence in Abuja with the theme, Unite, Activism to End Violence Against Women and Girls. Ayung, while lamenting about the rise in, notes that the objective of the ceremony is to strengthen the capacity of institutions and individuals at both formal and informal setting to effectively respond to all forms of gender-based violence. The Minister of Federal Ministry of Women Affairs, represented by the Acting Director of Women Affairs, Funke Oladikwo, while lamenting the rise of violence against women and girls, call for more preventive measures for protection. The United Nations Resident and Humanitarian Coordinator in Nigeria, Mataya Shkmel, emphasized the need for greater effort towards ensuring that women in politics are protected against all forms of violence and discrimination. The 16 days of activism to show, as I've just mentioned, the entire UN system's commitment to eliminating gender-based violence across the country. As we've already heard and references have been made that this is a campaign that is led by civil society with support from our Secretary General's UNITE campaign office. And the goal is really very simple as hard, but very hard to achieve. It's to end violence in particular against women and girls. After only two weeks of lockdown, these unfortunate realities of our time calls for collective and systematic efforts in dealing with the minas. The overall objective of this orange ceremony and lighting of the UN building is to strengthen partnership to end violence against women and girls amongst uh, uh, UN agencies, government M MDAs, diplomatic community, development partners, security agencies, civil society organization, and the media, amongst other stakeholders, while also increasing visibility and public support for the 16 days of <clears throat> activism. The cases are ending with one form of abuse and violence perpetrated against women and girls every second in Nigeria. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, time to act is now. We need to step up our game, interventions and support. We need to increase our financing for gender equality in all areas and in particular towards ending all forms of violence against women and girls in Nigeria.